This is the ninth video on physics quiz and this will be a 25 part video series wherein we'll be discussing the basic fundamentals and concepts relating to various physical phenomena, famous scientists and other frequently asked questions in various exams. You'll find these videos besides the respective GK Today quiz under physics quiz section. Link is in the description. Here we'll be talking about questions on pressure. If you have any doubts, feel free to ask them in the comment section. So let's quickly get on with it. Which of the following is the correct equivalent of one atmosphere? Correct answer is A. A common unit of pressure is atmosphere. That is the pressure exerted by the atmosphere at sea level. One atmosphere is equal to 1.013 into 10 raised to 5 Pascal. Who invented mercury barometer? Correct answer is D. Evangelista Torricelli devised for the first time a method for measuring atmospheric pressure. A long glass tube enclosed at one end and filled with mercury is inverted into a trough of mercury. This device is known as mercury barometer. What is the device used to measure the flow speed of incompressible fluid called as? Correct answer is Venturi meter. A Venturi meter is a device used to measure the flow speed of incompressible fluid. It consists of a tube with a broad diameter and a small constriction at the middle. Which of the following equation represents the Torricelli's law? Correct answer is A. Torricelli's theorem is also called as Torricelli's law. It states that the speed V of liquid flowing under the force of gravity out of an opening in a tank is proportional jointly to the square root of the vertical distance H between the liquid surface and the surface of the opening and to the square root of double the acceleration due to gravity. So the formula comes at V is equal to the whole square root of 2 G H. On which of the following principles is hydraulic lift based on? Correct answer is A. Pascal's law states that whenever external pressure is applied on any part of fluid contained in a vessel, it is transmitted undiminished and equally in all directions. This is another form of Pascal's law. Devices such as hydraulic lift and hydraulic brakes are based on the Pascal's law. Which of the following has no effect on the pressure beneath the surface of a liquid? Correct answer is A. Area of the liquid surface. It is clear from the above formula that water pressure only depends on density of water, gravitational acceleration and height of water column. Correct answer is C. Force per unit area. So pressure is defined as a normal force acting per unit area. It is denoted by P. P is equal to force upon area. It is a physical force exerted on an object and the force applied is perpendicular to the surface of objects per unit its area. Which of the following is correct about pressure? Correct answer is A. Pressure is a scalar quantity. So pressure is a scalar quantity and pressure is derived from force which is a vector quantity but still pressure is scalar. The reason for this is that pressure always acts perpendicular to the surface it acts upon. So always remember pressure itself is a scalar quantity but if you are asked about the pressure force then it is a vector quantity. What is the SI unit of pressure? Correct answer is D. Newton per meter square. It has been named as Pascal in honor of the French scientist Blaise Pascal for carrying out pioneering studies on fluid pressure and its dimensions are m, l-1, t-2. Which of the following statements about pressure and stress is not correct? Correct answer is D. Stress is always compressive in nature. So to understand it further, let us illustrate its characteristics. Pressure is always normal to the area but stress can be normal or tangential to the area. Pressure is always compressive in nature but stress can be compressive or tensile in nature. If you have any doubts, feel free to comment. Thank you and see you in the next one.